Hello, I'm Stephen Wilkinson from microscopes.com.au and today I want to demonstrate to you the Optico range of upright biological microscopes. Now we have five microscopes in the product range. All of these microscopes have got the latest generation LED illumination. Then we have the first three here. These have got a, a lower powered LED and the, the N120s here have got a, a higher illumination. So I want to start with the basic model, the N1000M. So this is your entry level microscope that we would sell mainly to uh, primary schools and high schools. Um, it's a, a simple microscope with very few moving parts. Hence, that's why it's, it's favorable by by schools. So we have coarse focusing only on this microscope. This moves the stage up and down. Whereas on all the other microscopes, we've got the coarse and the fine focus. So, and also on this microscope, it's a fixed stage. We do have the metal clips to hold your slide into place, but you have to move your slide specimen by hand with this microscope whereas on all the other microscopes we have the XY adjustment uh, uh, mechanical stage and what this does this does is it um, it helps it moves your slide micro adjustments so you can easily view your specimen on your slide on your on all of these microscopes <coughs> Now, they've all got Abbey condensers. This one has got a fixed condenser to the underneath of the stage. And we also have, um, we have glass optic objectives here. Now, these are the, the entry level 185 DIN objectives. And they come, it comes standard with a four, a 10, and a 40 times which gives you a magnification power when using the, the basic 10 times eyepiece. This gives you magnification power of 40, 100 and 400 times. Now the LED illumination is variable. And on the Abbey condenser, we can adjust the iris uh, diaphragm likewise. Do we then move up to the N2000M? <clears throat> this is another monocular microscope. And as we move up the, the product range, we have more advanced features. As I said before, we have the mechanical stage, the coarse and the fine focusing. And on this microscope and all the other microscopes, we have the adjustable height of the condenser. So we can easily adjust the height of this, of the condenser. <clears throat> and on this microscope, we have what's called achromatic objective lenses. These are, again, all glass objectives, but they're a better quality than the, the basic 185s. And we also get the extra 100 times objective on this microscope and all the other microscopes. So again, this gives you a magnification range of 40, 100, 400, and 1,000 times with the 100 objective. Now, this is an oil immersion objective lens. So you have to put a, a drop of oil, immersion oil, on top of your slide. Um, and then you're, you fine focus your microscope until the objective lens just touches the oil on that, on that glass slide. Again, variable intensity on the illumination. We then move up to the N2000B. Now this is exactly the same as the monocular version, but with the, the B, we have the binocular head. So we have um, adjustable interpupillary adjustment. That's because not everyone's eyes are the same distance apart. So that's fully adjustable for uh, your personal comfort. We also have a diopter adjustment on one of the eyepieces. This enables you to focus both eyes 
um, exactly. Um, now, the benefit of buying a binocular microscope over a monocular is if you're using a microscope for more than half an hour, half an hour at a time, if you're using a monocular eyepiece, you're going to suffer eye strain and you're going to be getting headaches. Whereas with the binocular head, um, you don't get the eye fatigue that you would get from a single eyepiece. The only time we would really recommend a single eye tube would be for primary school children who sometimes find difficulty focusing through two eyepieces. <clears throat> we then move up to the N120 series. This is a physically larger microscope and this comes with a binocular head configuration or a trinocular head. So the trinocular head is when you want to fit the optional digital microscope camera. Now the other advantages of this microscope over these other three, you have a larger mechanical stage. Um, there's more height in the, the distance from the lamp to the, the stage and you can add accessories such as um, dark field or a face contrast kit, which you can't do on the other microscopes. So there's a lot more options available for this microscope for more specialised procedures. Again, we have this in with the achromatic objectives, the 4, the 10, the 40 and the 100. Now moving on to the, the top of the range Optico N120MT-SP. The SP denotes the quality of the objectives. Now these are a semi-plan objective lens. Again, 4, 10, 40 and 100. Now the, the advantages of using a semi-plan objective over the, the achromatic objectives is with the, the amount of detail in your image. So uh, with an achromatic objective, you get around 60% of your uh, your specimen in full focus. And the outer edges can be slightly out of focus. With the semi-plan, you get 80% of your specimen in complete focus. Now, you will find that advantageous, especially when you're using a digital camera and you want to take a photograph, because then you, you'll see more of your specimen will be in focus. We also have higher quality eyepieces, 10, 10, 10 times wide field, um, 10x eyepieces, so you do see more of your specimen in your field of view. Now we, we can get this microscope in a binocular head or a trinocular head configuration. Now the, we sell digital cameras, so we recommend the, the USB 2 um, microscope camera for this microscope. And these are available in 2, 5 and 12 uh, megapixel resolution. Now the cameras are USB powered, comes with the software and you can view your image onto a computer monitor and you can capture uh, photographs and video. So that's a basic rundown of the Optico N-Series upright biological microscopes. For more information and pricing, please visit our website www.microscopes.com.au.